Hello everyone, happy to see you here and today we have a really interesting algebra question x cubed minus 27 equal to 0. And a lot of students might be saying, hey mister, right here really is a challenge because x cubed equal to 27 and x equal to 3 and I'm going to the next question. A lot of students saying like that and this is not good in terms of math because in terms of math we need to find what is the correct approach to do this problem. We can't solve this challenge in only in one line, for example, just agree with me if we write that x equal to 3, this is not a good solution because you need to show to your teacher that you can solve this challenge. You need to mm, write a lot of lines right here. You need to solve this challenge completely, step by step, step by step, and then you will have your answer. And x equal to 3, this is not good answer. This is not a good solution to this challenge. We need to find what is the correct approach to do this problem, a correct solution to do this problem. And in this video, I'm going to explain you how can you do this correctly and according in terms of math, we can solve this challenge easily and step by step. So x cubed minus 27 equal to 0. Okay, this is really great. Right now, this 27 can be written as 3 cubed. So what do we have right here? We have x cubed minus 27. Let's write right from here, from this expression, let's write this 27 as 3 cubed. Okay? And equal to equal to 0. This is really great because 3, 3 to the power 3, yes, 3 to the power 3 equal to 3 times 3 times 3, which is equal to 9 and times 3, we just we have 27. Okay, really great. Right now, what do we have right here? We have x cube and 3 cube, so difference of cubes. Right now, let's remember a formula because this is all known formula from school. So we have a cube minus b cube. This is a product of two parentheses. So we have a minus b, yeah, and times in other parentheses a square plus b square and plus a b. This is our formula. So right now let's apply this formula right here. We can do this because this is the same case, difference of cubes. Let's do this. What do we have right here? The first parenthesis on the left side, we have x minus three, x minus three. And the second parenthesis on the right side, x square, so x square plus three square and plus three x, plus three x. This is our formula. And of course, equal to zero, equal to zero. Okay, so this is our expression right now. What are we going to do next? Right now, let's simplify a little bit our um, this parenthesis. So we have x minus 3 in this first parenthesis, and in second parenthesis, we have x squared. Let's write this expression with x on the second place. So we have plus 3x and plus right here 3 square equal to 9. So we have plus 9 equal to 0. Right now, really important moment because we have a product of two parentheses. So it implies that this parenthesis equal to 0. So we want to separate these parts right here because this parenthesis equal to 0 or this parenthesis equal to 0. So let's start, for example, with this right parenthesis. So we have right here x square plus 3x and plus 9 equal to zero. Okay, this is our expression and this is our quadratic equation. Here we can easily solve it. We know about a, b and c. So a equal to one, b equal to three from here and c equal to c equal to nine. Let's plug in all of these elements into this spot. So right here, let's write our formula discriminant equal to b square minus 4ac. Let's find first of all our discriminant and plug in each of these elements into these spots. So what do we have right here? Three square minus 4 times 1 and times 9, which is equal to, we have what? We have 9 minus 36, okay? 9 minus 36, and we have minus 27. And this is really important moment because minus 27, this is our negative, negative discriminant. So it implies that right here we have a complex root. But let's find all of these roots because we need to do this. We need to find how, we need to show how can we solve this question completely and with all solutions. So if this equation, this uh, solution is x first, then for example, write that x second and third equal to minus b, all known formula, plus minus square root of discriminant and all over to a. Let's plug in each of these elements into these spots. We know everything, we know discriminant, we know a, b and c. So x second and third equal to minus b, we have minus three plus minus square root of discriminant, square root of minus 27 and all over to a, all over two. This is all over, all over two. Right now, let's simplify this a little bit. Let's simplify this. So what do we have right here? Let's write this square root of minus 27 as minus one times three square and times three. So we have right here minus three plus minus square root of, right here we have what? We have minus one in parentheses times three square and times three and all over, all over two. 
Right now, what do we have right here? This is our complex unit. This is our i. So this is our i right here. 3 square root, square root of 3 square equal to, equal to 3. And as a result, what do we have right here? This is our x second and x third. x second and x third equal to minus 3 plus minus 3i square root of 3. And all over, all over 2. This is our x second and x third to this challenge we can easily divide both sides by 2 and we have right here our minus 3 half plus minus 3i square root of 3 over over 2. This is our first two roots. This is our complex roots. Let's go right here to our real number root because x minus 3 equal to 0 and this is very easy easy to solve because x minus 3 equal to 0 and from here x first equal to 3. This is all known 3 because right here everyone know about this 3 because 3 cubed minus 27 equal to 0. So 3 cubed minus 27 equal to 0 which is absolutely absolutely correct. So right now let's write our all roots right here in this answer in this section. So let's write our answer. But if they could before before solving this challenge um, before writing this answer so x first equal to 3 x second equal to minus 3 half plus 3i square root of 3 over 2 and x third equal to minus 3 half plus or minus right here 3i square root of 3 over 2. This is a full solution to this challenge and this is really important moment because a lot of students as I told before say okay x equal to 3 this is a solution this is a um, full solution to this challenge but as you can see right here we have two more roots and this is a, a full solution to this challenge. Don't forget about this because a lot of students forget about this and um, this is really bad thing in terms of math. When you solve this challenge in one line, just agree with me. And for your teacher, this is not good to read about it because, for example, imagine you write that x equal to 3 and this is a solution. But right here, if you solve this challenge like that, step by step, we have we have solution. It looks like a solution. So it's good to, to it's good to read about this to your teacher. You use you, the teacher read about it and it's really great. Uh, x equal to 3, this is a good solution, but it's not good for your teacher. And this is a solution that we really need right now. This is a full solution to this challenge with all with all answers. For example, the same thing, for example, I want to write with this equation. So for example, imagine we have x square equal to 4. Okay, something like that. We have this uh, this equation. And a lot of students say, okay, uh, x equal to 2, like that, yeah, x equal to 2, because 2 square equal to 4. And this is a correct uh, correct thing, correct approach, but what about solution? This is not good solution in terms of math. Just imagine you have your exam and you write something like that and you go to the next question, because you prove that this is a correct, you solve this challenge by inspection. Sometimes happened that you solve this challenge by inspection and this is a correct solution. Sometimes happened, but if you look closely, x square equal to 4 okay let's look at it x square equal to 4 let's bring uh, let's bring 4 to the right side so what do we have right here let's separate this solution x square minus 4 equal to 0 from here x my x square minus 2 square equal to 0 and this is all known formula this is difference of squares so what do we have right here x minus 2 and x plus 2 and this is completely another solution, yeah? So x minus 2x plus 2 equal to 0. So from here, x first equal to 2 and x second equal to minus 2. As you can see right here, you forget about this, yeah? And this is really important moment in terms of math. When you sit in your exam, try to think how can you solve this challenge completely. Try to find a correct approach. Don't think about randomly method. Don't uh, think about it because this is very bad thing in terms of math. Randomly method uh, or inspection method helps you to to prove your solution. For example, okay, you see that uh, 2 is a correct answer and, and try to solve it. And then when you solve it, you can easily prove these roots right here. So this is very important moment in terms of math. And this is a correct solution. This is a very tricky challenge. I see this challenge uh, very often on, on exams, on uh, entrance examination, uh, in easy part, yeah, because this is not hard question. I see this challenge in easy parts because a lot of students forget about these complex roots. About A lot of students forget about uh, this part of a complex root. How can we solve this challenge completely? And it's really bad thing in terms of math. Try to find approach, try to find a method. How can you solve this challenge step by step? And as you can see right here, three roots, x cube, no more than three roots, so everything is 
everything is correct. So this is my explanation to this challenge. I hope you learn something new. I hope you remember something new. Also write your question down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to read about it. Write your thoughts about it, this question. And maybe a lot of teacher teachers in the comment section write your thoughts about this challenge. How often your students solve this challenge like that, that x equal to 3 and they forget about this about this complex part. It will be really interesting to read about it. So thank you for your time. See you in the next videos and have a great day. Also write your question down into the comment section. Write your suggestion, write your thoughts and thank you for your time. See you in the next videos. Have a great day and love mess.